The first house I ever purchased as a rental was $68,000. Um, I had 70 to my name at the time. I spent everything I owned in this house. It took me a long time to save that money. It did not come easy. And so I spent $68,000. I rehabbed the house. I got a tenant in there. It cash flowed fantastic. I went to a bank. I asked them for 75% of the value. Since I had increased the value of the house so much, 75% of the value was the $68,000 that I put into it. So they gave me my $68,000 back. And so I spent my money. I got all my money back. And all I was left with was a $350 a month cash flowing house plus 25% equity. Um, th th there's no possible better way to do that than to have free cash flow and equity and all your money back. What could be better? Infinite return. Infinite yeah. return. And so then I went off and I bought a, uh, another house for that same $65,000. And I went to the bank and they said it was worth 105 and they gave me 75% of it. And I got all my money back again. And then I did it again. And then I did it again. And then I did it again. And I automated it so e so well that I do it long distance now. And so the Burr strategy is, um, it certainly has its flaws, but efficiency is not one of them. Efficiency is a strength of the Burr strategy. It's not for everybody, um, but if you are using a limited amount of resources, which everybody is using limited resources, and you have access to uh, houses that you can you know, add value to and will cash flow, man, there's a few better ways to make money than that. I love it. Yeah, that's why we're so passionate about it. We talk about it all the time, right?